Hey guys, my name is Hogan and in this video, I wanna show you how you can customize the layout of your WooCommerce product pages and also the shop page as well. So previously, your website may look really, really bland and boring because you can't actually edit the product page much, right? You can change the font sometimes, um, you can edit the text here, but you can't fully customize it. But now we're gonna be using the Themify Builder Pro. This is essentially a WordPress theme builder and you can create a entire website by dragging and dropping elements. And you can edit your header, your footer sections, your pages, your post, but more importantly, you can edit your WooCommerce product pages, right? So you can change it to any layout that you want. And this is gonna be super quick and super easy, and it's gonna be free as well. So if you've been following my tutorials, on my channel, then this is perfect because you're using the Themify themes. But even if you're not, you're using a different theme, for example, like Storefront or Ocean WP, you can still follow along. You just need to download the Themify Builder uh, free plugin, which is in the plugin section, all right? So as you can see, this is the layout that you can build. You can click on the edit template here and we can customize each and every single sort of product page we uh, we want to, and you can apply it to the rest of your products as well if you want as well. So on the left here, you can drag and drop any of these elements and you can move these elements around if you want as well, okay? So we can't see that because that text is white. So for example, you may not want the breadcrumbs to show, then we can delete that. And you may want to show the price over here, then you can change the location. You can also change the styling of it, so you can change the font size. So we can change that to a little bit bigger if you want to as well. Um, if you wanna showcase your reviews, you can do that. So click on done and you can double click that. You can also um, add in additional uh, descriptions as well, like that and additional information, okay? You can also add in icons and things like that. You can add pretty much anything that you want and you can really, really customize your uh, product pages. But not only that, you can also customize your shop page as well. So for example, your uh, shop page may look something like this. It may have a product filter and you may have a selection of your products like this in a grid. But now you can actually create just like a normal page, right? So you can have a video background and you could have, you know, shop your collection and then you could have your products like that. Okay, so it's really, really cool. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it right now. All right, so the first thing you'll need to do is log into your WordPress dashboard and you wanna make sure that you're using the latest Themify shop or the latest Themify Ultra theme. So if you're a member, make sure to update that automatically. If you're not currently a member yet, then I've included the download links down below. So make sure you download the one that you're currently using and you wanna quickly update that. So I'll quickly show you, hover over appearance and you can click on themes. Now, if you're not using the Themify themes, I'll show you how to install the Themify Builder plugin for free. So what we need to do is we need to activate another theme for now. So you can click on activate. The next step is we're gonna delete this theme. So generally all your settings will save, but if you are worried, you can download the Updraft Plus plugin and back up your WordPress website. So I'm just gonna click on delete and click on okay. Now you wanna click on add new. And then you wanna click on upload theme, choose file, and choose the Themify Ultra if you're using that or the Themify shop.zip from your computer. Click on open, install now. So once you're done, click on activate. Okay, now you should be good to go. Now if you're not using the Themify themes, you can go to plugins and install the Themify Builder uh, plugin, which is free. So here you can click on add new, and then you can search for the plugin. So type in Themify Builder. And then what you wanna do is install and activate that plugin. So once you have that, then you're pretty much ready to go. So you also want to ensure that you download the Builder Pro plugin, which I've included in the download link below as well. So download that zip file onto your computer. So we want to upload that plugin as well. So click on upload, choose file, and then you wanna upload the Themify Builder Pro.zip. Click on open, and then you wanna install and activate. 
All right, so once that is done, then you are pretty much good to go. So you hover over the Themeify Builder or the Themeify Shop here, click on the themes. And then here you can add a new theme. So click on add new theme. Okay, so you can do a theme name. So you can do custom theme by me. And then you can add a thumbnail if you want to. Click on next. And then select blank and click on activate. Once you're done, then we can go to click on go templates. Now we want to create a template for our product page. So we want to click on product single. And what we can do is click on add new. All right, so this one, we're just going to call it product. Let's just say product for for dress. And then for the type, you want to select product single. So here we can set in the display conditions. Uh, we can choose to select specific products uh, if we want to as well. So let's, for example, click here, deselect all. Then we can create a template uh, for each specific product. Or maybe if you have, let's say, uh, different categories, for example, you may have like shoes or dresses then you may create a template for your dresses and then you may create another template for your shoes because they may be different templates, right? Or if you're selling, let's say, um, a wireless charger and then you're selling maybe an ebook, then those can be different templates, right? So let's just say, for example, we want to only change it for, um, let's say the ebook only, so Tokyo and me, all right? Let's click that and then we can click here and then click on next. And then here I can click on publish. Now what you can do is edit the layout. So for example, you want to have two columns, then select two columns like that. And then you can drag in, let's say you want the product title on top here. And you want perhaps, um, let's say you want to have the breadcrumbs over here. You can drag and drop that in, save that. And maybe you want the product uh, ratings on the top. Click on done and you want the product image on the left. Okay, and let's just add in a product description as well. So below that. And finally, we can add the add to cart. So let's just say we add the cart there. And instead of add to cart, we can also change it to, let's say, add to bag. And you can also change the full width as well. You can also click on the styling here and you can edit the color of the button, right? So we can change that to 222, something like that, nice and modern. And we can click on save. Right, uh, we can also add in the related products. So depending on where you wanna add the related products below here, or maybe you wanna create another row below that. Um, I'm going to drop in the product review tab on the bottom here. Okay, and I'm gonna uh, hide the description and additional information. So I'm just gonna show the reviews on the bottom. Okay, we can also zoom out of the page a little bit so we can see what we're building. So we can also change the layout by changing the direction like that if we want to as well. We can move these things. So we can click into this as well and click on styling, click on general. And as you can see, you can edit the stars. Um, you can change the colors of the stars. Uh, you can change the font and you can also change the form buttons as well. So it really depends on what you really want to build. Okay, so let's add in the price down there and we can click on done, right? So that can be your layout, right? If you wanna add, let's say a background color, here you can add the styling and you can add the background. And then for the background color, you can change the background color just like that, right? So we could do, maybe let's just do a very light gray and we can also do styling and then we can click on padding here. Let's just set the padding to like, 2%, okay, so it moves everything into the middle, 
just like that. And we're gonna do some row padding as well for the styling here. Padding, we're gonna add maybe five, two percent over there. Maybe let's just drag it to five percent, just like that. And then you are good to go, All right? So we can save that and let's just close that for a second. Now, what you're gonna notice is this layout is gonna be applied to the ebook that we've set it in for, right? So let's just say we go back here to our shop page. And we click into this one here. This will actually show the default layout, right? So this is the default layout. It hasn't changed, but we've actually set the layout to be applied for this ebook. So we click into that ebook and it should be different, right? So what you're gonna notice is that you can also click on edit template from here as well. So you can customize it um, like that. And as you can see, we probably need to edit some padding on the top as well. So we're going to, let's just add a, let's 2% padding to the top, or maybe let's just stretch it out to 5% and we can play around with the layout any way we want. So we can even create a background image as well, um, but I'm not gonna show you right now. I wanna quickly show you how you can edit your shop page as well, All right? So let's just leave this for now. And to edit your shop page, we can go back to our dashboard section and we can hover over here and then we can click on the templates again. And here, your shop page should be your product archive, right? You can also change the header layouts and set the conditions of where you want them to appear as well. Um, but I'm gonna click on product archive. Now here, we're gonna click on add new. Okay, so this one might be the shop main and the type is gonna be the product archive. And for the display conditions, we can include it into all the products uh, archive pages or just the shop page itself. So let's just say we change the shop page and we click on next. You can also uh, set the conditions as well. So click on back here and you can add in more conditions. Like you can exclude it from certain pages as well. All right, um, I'm just gonna click on next and click on publish. Then, as you can see, we have a blank canvas to work with as well. Let's just add in a hero image. So we can set in a hero background. So hover over and click on styling, click on background, then click on video. Let's just grab a video URL. And let's go back here and let's just paste that in. And then the next thing I wanna do is I wanna add some padding to the top and the bottom. So 15% and let's say 15% um, for the bottom as well. Okay, click on done. And then you can add, let's say the title in the middle. So it could be like shop collection. Okay, and we can change that to heading one. Let's just change the heading font to let's say Montserrat like that. And let's change this to 500 pixels and also change the size of this to maybe 3 EM. And we want to move this into the center. So let's click on the general tab, font, move that into the center, change the color to white and that is looking really good. So what we could do now is to click on done and what we could do is we could drop in the archive um, products. So let's just drop in the archive products here. Now this is gonna display our products, right? So here we can change how we wanna lay it out. So you can uh, hide the product description, you can hide the pricing you can hide the add to carts or anything that you really want. So you can also change um, all the different styling options by clicking here, all right? So if the pricing is too small, then we can change the size of the pricing. So let's just increase the pricing to, let's try 
2 em that's probably too big so 1.2 that's all right and the color of that you know we want to make it maybe like a light gray something like that is pretty good okay we can also change the uh, grid layout like that um, we can play around with the settings here um, yeah it's really up to you on how you want to sort of display it um, you don't have to even put in the archives so you can delete that and you can let's say we could do let's say a image or something like that um, we could do let's grab in an image module over here and drag that in and then you could do let's say this image here plug that in let's change the rows to three rows uh, three columns sorry and duplicate that two times drag that into here drag that into there and then we can change the image here so let's just change the image to this one here change this one here as well to this one here and let's add some padding on the top and the bottom of that row so let's just do 5% to the top and 5% to the bottom and then basically that's it All right you can link these images to maybe your specific products or your specific categories as well all right so that is the basics of it now you can apply this for your header your footer and you can fully customize it any um, any way that you like All right so once you've finished designing your templates you also want to make sure that template is mobile responsive right so since there is a video background here sometimes videos don't play well on mobile you want to ensure that it has a fallback image so you can click on edit template and here on the top you've got the mobile responsive settings so you can click on the mobile to see what it looks like on mobile right now you want to click on the row styling again click on the background now you want a fallback image so click on the plus and you can add in uh, any image that you want so let's just say we add in that image so this image will actually show up on your mobile devices right so you can also um, edit the let's say you click into that text you can change the sort of font size for that mobile device as well right so if you want it to be a little bit smaller so maybe 1 em or something like that or maybe 0 0.8 then it can be a little bit smaller right okay so click on done and when you click on the desktop it's going to resize back to normal okay so you want to ensure that your layout is all mobile responsive as well and then you can click on save and you can close that so this is the basics of everything that you need to know about uh, customizing your product pages and also your shop page um, hopefully you can sort of design a really nice layout um, it does take some time um, especially with setting in you know the different conditions uh, so you can apply it to a specific product or maybe you can just apply it to all your products so you don't really need to customize it um, much all right so if you have any questions drop it down below in the comment section and see you guys in the next video